welcome friends to another session on gems of geometry and uh, in this session we are going to discuss one very important uh, theorem called siva's theorem now this theorem was uh, given by giovanni siva uh, who published this theorem in 1678 okay so hence now let's like over four centuries now i think yeah so around three centuries plus we have been using this theorem so what exactly is this theorem and before that uh, you know you must understand what is meant by the word cvn so what is a cvn guys cvn is nothing but a line segment uh, which joins a vertex of a triangle to any given point on the opposite side of the that particular vertex okay so for example here ax by and cz these three are cvn so hence what is a cvn any line which joins one of the vertex of a triangle let's say a to any point on the opposite side so hence let's say if there is a point here and i join this point this will also be a cvn okay so this let's say m a m is also a cvn so there can be infinitely many cvns possible isn't it so now you understood what a uh, cvn is now siva's theorem says that uh, the three cvns ax by and cz one through each vertex of a triangle abc are concurrent then we get this relationship this one bx upon xc into cy upon ya into az by zb is one interest interesting isn't it so hence basically these are the sides which are being you know uh, cut by the cvns so uh, the product of each in a cycle so bx upon xc so if you see this is one then this one by two into three by four so the three by four are not the numerals but the you know so i'm just labeling these sides and then five by six if you multiply all of them one by two into three by four into five by six gives you one so that's what uh this particular theorem says now let's try to prove this theorem okay so how to go about the proof so hence in this concept in this particular theorem we will be using the area uh, concept right so area of two triangles with the same base and uh, between same parallel or with same altitude uh, the, the two areas are equal in that case so hence if you see um let's take bx and xc so if you see bx by xc if i take this ratio what is bx by xc ratio it's nothing but i can write half into bx into let's say h what is the h bx into h okay so h you can think of let's say there is a parallel line and the distance between these two is h so half into half into base into height divided by can i not write this as half into x c into h okay let me write it once again so it is one by two into let me put it in bracket so that you know you don't get confused it with multiplication sign x c into h can i write that because um half and h are common in both numerator and denominator now if you see closely this particular thing is nothing but area of triangle uh a triangle a b x right and the denominator is area of triangle a x c a c x let's say okay now let's say the three uh, the point of intersection is o or point of concurrence is o so the same thing can be written about o b x and o x c so if you see again this it will be nothing but uh, area of triangle o b x divided by area of triangle o c x why is this because if i write it here in brackets what is o b x guys area of o b x will be let's say the height is again some other h1 then o b x area is half into b x into h1 and uh, if you see the denominator half into cx into h1 isn't it same so h1 h1 goes half half goes 
so this ratio also is equal to bx upon xc that's important okay so if you see from this one and two so both are equal to bx upon xc let me write like that bx upon xc is it bx upon xc both are equal now if two ratios are equal uh, so their correct difference of numerator and denominator so you know componendo and dividendo so hence i can write this by componendo dividendo or only dividendo bx by xc is equal to area of triangle a b x minus area of triangle o b x divided by area of triangle OCX minus area sorry not this one will be ACX minus area of triangle OCX clearly right and why am I saying this because if A by B is equal to C by D then A, this will also be equal to A minus C divided by B minus D you can check yeah let's take an example so 3 by 4 is equal to let's say um, 6 by 8 isn't it 3 by 4 is equal to 6 by 8 so if you do the difference 3 minus 6 by 4 minus 8 is equal to 3.4 so all are same this is just for explanation purposes nothing else so we get this relationship guys a bx upon x is this now if you look closely to the figure in the figure area of a b x minus area of o b x will be nothing but this shaded region right so hence i can write now this as area of triangle a o b and in the denominator if you see this is nothing but uh, a c x minus o c x is this particular area right this particular area so hence you can write that as area of triangle triangle aoc or coa isn't it so what do we infer we we got bx upon xc is equal to area of triangle aob divided by area of triangle coa and similarly if you repeat the process for the other three other two cvns you will get cy upon ya okay cy upon ya will be equal to area of cy upon uh, cy upon ya will be nothing but area of boa or rather uh, cy is first right so hence yeah. so it will be triangle boc boc divided by area of triangle aob triangle aob right you can check you can the same process you'll get the same result and similarly you will get uh, a z by z b if you see this a z by z b will be a o c triangle triangle c o a this is area right area of c o a divided by area of c o b or b o c right triangle boc so this is what you get now if you multiply all the three these three so hence what will you get lhs multiply all the lhs together so bx by xc into cy by ya into az by zb will be equal to um area of triangle aob divided by area of triangle coa into area of triangle boc divided by area of triangle aob and this is multiplied by area of triangle coa divided by area of triangle boc now all the areas are greater than zero in this case so hence we can cancel all of them boc goes goes coa coa goes and hence this is one hence we prove the result right so ax by xc into cy by ya into az by zb right is equal to one so this is what we needed to prove 
in fact converse is also true that means converse if you just check converse what will be the converse of this so in a given triangle i can word it out like that in a given triangle given triangle if if bx by xc is an into cy by ya into um az by zb equals 1 equals 1 then then the three cvns cvns are concurrent events are concurrent this converse this is the converse and you can prove it easily again so in this case what will we do is let's say this is a triangle abc and okay um let's say two cvns let's let's try with two cvns first so let's say b y and uh, this one cz okay and let's say this point is x and it is given that what is given so bx by xc into cy by ya into az by zb is equal to 1 it's given isn't it it's given so let's say at least two cvns will definitely intersect if not all three so let's say this intersection is o point point of intersection is o then what do we get uh we know uh, then uh, by CVN, CVS, CVS theorem, I can, let's assume that there is a CVN which is uh, going on X. Or now this is very closely placed. So let me uh, remove this point and let's say this is the point X. Okay. And by CVS theorem, let's say we'll definitely get one uh, CVN which passes through AO and let's say this is X dash. So by CVS theorem, by Siva's theorem. What do we get? We get this a z by z b into um, b x dash by x dash c into c y by y a is equal to one. But if you see what was given, given was this. So hence, from let's say this is one and two, from one and two, from from 1 and 2 what can we infer we can infer bx by bx by xc is equal to bx dash by x dash c now uh, x and x dash are two points on the same segment bc and they are dividing the same segment into two equal ratios now this is possible only when this is possible only when x and x dash coincide right coincide that means x and x dash are the same point so all the three hence 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 all the three cvns are concurrent hence proved right so converse is also true guys so this theorem is widely applicable in various geometrical fields so you will see uh, in uh, olympiadic problems also this particular theorem is very very helpful so but then if, if you could see we didn't use any uh, high-end mathematics to actually you know prove this result so this result is existing since 1678 so you know so there are more than three centuries now we have been using this theorem. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, theorem and uh, you know uh, in the worksheet attached with this there will be a few problem, uh, problems to be you know solved using Siva's theorem. So best of luck for that. Thank you.